Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Saturday, the 19th of September. Nice and early. No problems this morning. First day for ages. All the football prep's gone swimmingly. I'm in a fantastic mood. It's marvellous. Um, bit of banter on uh, Twitter. Bit of banter with the boys over the sign-ins. Liverpool signing a couple of has-beens and Villa fans jumping in. Got a nice little comeback to... Um, Online trade, he's a good lad, Neil. He, um, he, um, he, um, he, um, he, um, I've forgotten where I was going. Useless, and I, um, no, I was, I put the on there. I said yesterday in the pod, didn't I, that I think Arsenal, Arsenal have drifted to 1.6, and I put on Twitter this morning one of my bullish predictions that Arsenal are nailed on. And he came back and said, um, this is where he's got to be disciplined because he agrees with me, but it's not part of his plan. And I said, well, you got enough woes supporting Claret and Blue teams. He's a Villa fan. you got enough woes. You don't need to flip an ad to him, do you, with another Claret and Blue team? Got me thinking. You could have... We... Oh, hang on. we got a suspension here. you got it. It's all live. Everything's happening here. What's going on? Who's got... Who's where? Who's where? Who's suspended? Hold on a minute. Let's have Football 24 on so I can see what's going on. Oh, I see. Lovely. Okay. Um, so you could have... Um, we could have Claret and Blue Anonymous, wouldn't we? Like we have Gamblers Anonymous and 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 uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, we could have Claret and Blue Anonymous. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Um, couldn't we? Were they all going there? You'd, you'd, you'd know the Burnley fans. They'd be the ones sat arms crossed, all smug-like, because they're quite good, aren't they? They've been quite solid, so they'd just be sat there with a nice little smug grin on their face. And then you you don't have to say who you support, but you could, couldn't you? And you'd have, oh, I'm, hello, my name's Kevin. I'm a West Ham fan. Oh, hello, Kevin. Why are you here today? I've, I've lapsed and I've lapsed. Three months of lockdown and I didn't watch them for three months. And then last week, I, I couldn't help myself and I lapsed. I lapsed. And what happened, Kevin? I got fucking pasted again. I got pasted again. I can't take it. Even the fucking carpet looks tatty now. Couldn't you? You'd have that. And you'd have Neil in the corner, the old Villa fan. Gary Shaw, Peter with Gary Shaw, Peter with Tony Morley. Nigel Spinks, Gary Shaw, Peter with Tony Morley. Nigel Spinks, Gary Shaw. There, he'd be sitting rocking back with them. We'll just leave him to it. Let's just leave him to it. You'd have Palace fans. They used to wear claret and blue, didn't they, back in the day, back before the war? During the war, back before the war, they were claret and blue. You'd have Palace fans. Hello, my name's Jeff, and I'm a Palace fan. That fucker at FTS, he keeps taking the piss out of us. It's not our fault what we got Roy's, it's not our fault. We're fucked if Wilf goes, we're fucked if Wilf goes. We're fucking Wilf's our team, and he? We're fucked if he goes. Old Jeff there, yeah. and then uh, who else could you have? Scunthorpe, could have Scunthorpe fans. Oh, it could have all been so different if fucking both of them hadn't chosen cricket. If both of them hadn't chosen cricket, we could be somewhere else now. Couldn't you? Yeah, Claret and Blue Anonymous. I like it. Set up an international branch in Turkey, Trabs on Sport. Yeah, you, you could go on holiday there, boys. That's it. You could have meetings. Oh, dear. I don't know where my mind takes me at times. Uh, <laughs> what a bit of fun. Has he signed yet, old Bale? Has he signed? Anyway, I think Naguna's absolutely fucking nailed on that. Your own peril, but I will be amazed. I will be absolutely amazed. Let me just see. Hang on a second. If I can do the sheet quickly. I'm just going to have a quick look and see if I can do something. While I'm talking to you, I'm just going to load up one of my maths models. I haven't done it yet because um, the... Uh, I haven't done it because the um, I'm waiting for some prices to settle down. But let me just see if I can put English Premier League in there, Arsenal in there, West Ham in there. Clear those contents. Can I just run that blind? It's not looking like it. Try it again. I'll go this way now. Um, where's the? Where would the game be? Where's the sheet? Where I'm doing. The, apologies for that. I've just had this idea while I'm talking to you, so I'm just going to try and see if I can paste in the Arsenal fixture and see what my maths model makes it. Because I've got a sneaky feeling it's going to make it fairly low. Eight o'clock tonight. Kick off. Right there we go. English Premier League. Arsenal. West Ham. Get that, pop it in there. 
Now do a little run for me on one fixture. Yes, go on my little beauty. Right, that won't take a second to run now, that. And we'll see what price they should be. Oh, this is live, you're getting me live now, live modeling. Just gotta wait for the couple of the databases to open up and let's see. But I if they're not value on here, I will be amazed. I'm absolutely stunningly amazed if they're not. Um because I just think they're one of the bets of the season already. I'm not sure we'll get a better one all season. Uh, but at your own peril, if it's not in your plan, then leave it alone. Don't um, don't um, do it right. Let's see. Let's see what the gold supremacy does it give for the Gooners. It's got to be uh, half-time gold supremacy of a goal. Oh, just under. Just going along. Yeah, value on the old gooners there. Value on the old gooners there. The old uh, model price has come out just under 1.4, 1.399, and they are 1.6 currently there. I can't, yeah, see. Nearly a goal super, nearly a goal superior. Um, the model's just done it. That's just done it. Can't. Um, that's it. Arsenal lump on. Um, right, I've got a few horses for you as well. I've got a few horses. It's the old um, two of my that I'm absolutely excellent at the um, air silver and gold cup running today. But I've got one at Newbury. Good birthday, Sylvester de Souza. This is for the boys are back in this today. Sylvester de Souza. Good birthday in the two fifteen at Newbury, and then in the gold cup and the silver cup. Silver cup two thirty. Nice price, hyper focus, win and place. Uh, currently 32, Rachel Richardson's mount, hyper focus. And in the 340, the gold cup, uh, Jason Hart's mount, Gulliver, that's 46. So you've got good birthday at 10.5. Uh, hyper focus is 32, and Gulliver is 46. Put them in a win patent and retire. That's it. All at your own peril, of course. I'm only jesting. Only bet them if it suits you. If you want to have them for a bit of interest. Um, but there you go. Good birthday, hyper focus, and Gulliver. Watch them three lump in. Then when they win, put all the winnings on Arsenal. Job done. There. See you in Barbados. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, there's no. I'll have an NFL tomorrow. I think I've got quite a few bets lined up for that tomorrow. I had a provisional look this morning, so the NFL tomorrow um, will run, and um, and I'll be back um, tomorrow morning with the podcast. It is Sam's last day of quarantine today, and we are going out tomorrow. So I'm not going to be about much, um, but I will get everything done in the morning, and then I will be uh, incommunicado for the rest of the day. Um, but uh, I'll be there'll be a podcast tomorrow, NFL rundown, and then I'll be back on Monday as normal. Um, but there you go, boys. Get yourselves off to Claret and Blue Anonymous. Um, what a daft old podcast this was, wasn't it? Eh? I never know what's going to come out of my mouth before I start. Um, right, have a lovely little Saturday. Enjoy uh, your bets. I hope all the ultimate boys, you make a few quid, um, and I'll be back with you all tomorrow morning. <laughs>